Hello all, welcome to AuraTrainings.com. In this session, we'll understand how do we add a BI standard catalog folder, okay? So as per Oracle functionality, whenever any user is created, by default, they have access to all Oracle standard catalog folders. By the way, what is Oracle catalog folder? It's nothing but, by default, what Oracle has provided us, all the reporting, all the reports which are available in Oracle Fusion, they have segregated according to the functionality of the module, and that's what we call it as catalog folder. Now, in some of the real-time requirements, there are chances you may have a requirement to hide a specific folder for, from the user. So now what we want to do is, we just want to show you how do we hide the specific folder for the users who are not BI admins, okay? Now let us understand the process. It's just a four-step process. The first step is, Go to the security console, search for the custom BI WebCat reporting duty. This Oracle provided standard job. The name says custom, but it is an Oracle provided standard job. It has all the reporting. It has the duty roles for each specific folder. And based on this, you generally get an access. I'm talking about non-BI admin users. And now in this one, you select the fourth step. You select the folder which you want to remove for the user, non-BI users, non-BI admin users, and then click on delete and click on yes. And after that, you just click on next and then proceed, save and close. And then the third step is you just go to ESS job and run the job, import user and role application security data. So this will take a good amount of time. It can be half an hour or one hour. And then once this gets succeeded, you could see the changes and you could see here for one of the user, I could don't see any financial folder, right? So now we'll try to perform this functionality in real time. So I'll log into my user. The username is this admin user FAS01.student. I'll just click on sign in. And go to security console. Tools, security console. And here you just search for custom BI webcat reporting duty role and here you just click on edit and click on a role hierarchy and you could see here i already removed financial reporting folder you don't see that and even i removed hcm also you don't see that uh, that one also okay so what we can do is let us say i want to remove uh, maybe a supply chain stuff so i'll just click on supply chain management folder reporting duty and i'll just click on delete and click on yes next 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 and finally save and close so this is a first step once this step particular step is done what you have to do is go to the navigator click on tools scheduled processes now run the ess job import user and role application security data click on OK and submit. So this particular job uh, process will take a little amount of time. And time being, I just want to show you one more information. And what is the role and what is the username which have what roles, OK? So I'll just go to Security Console again, Users. I have a user called Aura.User1, which don't have any roles assigned. I mean to say he's not a BI admin role, BI admin user, he's just a normal user without any roles. So I log in with this user in another window in incognito mode, aura.user1, and I'll just enter the password. Click on welcome. Now click on tools, click on report and analytics. Click on browse catalog and it will navigate to our BI catalog. And here you could see that the financial is no longer available and human capital is available. I just ran the job earlier and it is taking time to process. And also you could see that supply chain also will be available because we have removed it just now. So it will take some amount of time to refresh it. At least it will take half an hour to one hour, okay? So this is a process of hiding a specific folder for the non BI admin users. And here, this is not the whole solution. So, in this particular process, we are just hiding a specific folder for the non BI admin users. Let us say, if at all, if you want to control your custom report folder 
for a specific user, then what you have to do is you have to create a separate roles, custom roles, and then you have to assign them at the permission level. That particular logic we'll discuss in next coming session. Mm -hmm. But in this session, what we have discussed is by default, how do you control a folder uh, like Oracle provided standard catalog folder? Okay, remember the two steps. I mean, the two important information. One is the, the role information, the custom BI webcat reporting duty, and other one is a ESL job. Okay, this is all about the content today. Thank you.